We give thanks and praise to the Most High Jah Rastafari Adamawi Haile Selassie, first power and might of the Trinity. Him who is, who was, and who will forever be. King of kings, Lord of lords, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of our Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God of the Bible, Abba Kadus, the Holy Father, and his beautiful Empress Minion, first ancient family of creation, the fulfillment of Bible prophecy, November the 2nd, 1930, the book of Revelation. Out of the power of Ethiopia. For brethren and sisters, Ethiopia was ancient, very ancient when history began. But what I and I want to discuss today, brethren and sisters, I am the Rastaman, Athenia Tafari. I and I want to discuss the doctrine, the teaching, the doctrine of the Bible, the teaching of Christ, the teaching of Paul. The prophecy of the prophet, the prophets of the Hebrew text. What is the teaching about? What is true salvation? Okay? First and foremost, I and I want to define doctrine so that the item can get an understanding of what this word means and how it's been taught. And I'm going to quote out of the 1971 World Book Dictionary because the older the book the better the information and I don't want to go by the Bucky Master the Slave Master Webster's Noah Dictionary Noah Webster rather I don't want to go by his dictionary so they define doctrine as what is taught as the belief of a church see church nation or group of persons belief principle what you've been taught by God about God what is taught teachings so what is taught to you by religious leaders by religious leaders by church leaders by the people in your mosques and your synagogues and your churches because these um, places in particular because they practice a monotheistic belief see in the mosques, in the church, in the synagogues. The Muslim belief, in the Jewish people, in the, the Christian belief. What are they teaching? What's the doctrine? What are they teaching about Christ and Paul and the, and the whole entire book? For this is what the King, our Father, has to say about the Holy Bible. His Superior Majesty goes on to say that we must read and study the Bible and accept with clear conscience the Bible in His great message or we cannot hope for salvation. That means repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. What Christ telling you about the Father. So, what is the doctrine without, without further delay? Let's go and see what the scripture says about the Bible. And the doctrine, what the scripture says, people, what the scripture says about the doctrine and the teachings, what it says in the Bible. Because His Majesty said we must accept the Bible. And this, the whole king of the earth said accept the Bible. Jesus goes on to say in the book of John chapter 7 verse 16 through 18, He goes on to say, my doctrine is not mine, but it is his that sent me. For Jesus is not talking about himself. Jesus is not glorifying himself. Jesus said, his doctrine is his that sent me. His teaching is his father's. If any man would do his will, if you will submit yourself to the will of God, if you have submitted yourself to the will of God, you shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speak of himself seek his own glory, but he that seek his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Jesus carried the incarnated word of God. For Jesus, they talk about himself. And who is he talking about? He's talking about Emperor Haile Selassie, King of kings, Lord of lords, the great king of the earth, who lives forever and even forever. From generations to generations, his throne is from generations to generations. From ever living to ever living. 
the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 27. This is the doctrine. This is the gospel. The book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 27, it says, They were all amazed, and so much they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new thing is this? What new doctrine is this? What is he talking about? Haile Selassie God. He's the king of the entire earth. He's been proclaiming the God. Been proclaiming the God of the Bible. Been proclaiming the Father. But this is the teaching. This is the, 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 the scriptures. This is the, the word sound. The truth. The truth everybody been searching for. This great confusion in this great rat race about God and who is God put all your foolishness away your childishness away this is the truth they were all amazed because they have been taught lies in the churches they have been taught lies in the synagogues and in their mosques about who is Allah who is Krishna who is Jehovah who is the I am? Who is the father of Jesus? This is the doctrine. For Jesus ain't going around glorifying himself. For with authority command he even the unclean spirits and they obeyed him. They obeyed him. Because you ain't finna find this truth in your synagogue, in your seminary. The halfway truth, a lie. Semi, it's halfway. You ain't fully there. And this trueness here is not even theology. It's not even ideology. And we will get on to that. What our Father, the Great King, says about these truths and this spirituality and these religious things going on in the world. The Book of John, chapter twelve, verses. 44 the book of John chapter 12 verses 44 and Jesus cried Jesus crying he cried he that believe on me believe not on me or believe not on me but on him that sent me Jesus crying to him he that believe on me believe not on me but on him that sent me he cried to the people they hate his superior majesty. They hate Haile Selassie. For Jesus ain't talking about himself. He cried to the people. Don't worship me. It is my father who sent me. Believe on him. Begging the people don't worship him. Crying to the people. For this is the doctrine. That's who they hate. This is who the world hate. Visiting the iniquities of the children of the third and fourth generation of them that hate him for these people hate God they hate the father this is the doctrine this is the teaching Haile Selassie first power and might of the trinity he is God and he is not no reincarnation Jesus Christ this is who Jesus Christ come to declare this is the doctrine 